13 of the last 16 years have been the warmest years on record. And that's not a coincidence. The amount of carbon dioxide in the air in 1750 was 250 parts per million. Now it's over 400 parts per million and the world's getting warmer. I mean, the big thing about that deniers insist is that there are natural cycles uh, in the world's climate, and that's true. But it's the rate at which we are adding carbon dioxide and methane to the atmosphere has never been there before. It's never been this much this fast. And uh, when it comes to deniers, they're in denial. Now, notice that none of the deniers had any uh, visibility or nobody noticed them at the summit in Paris because they, they're losing ground. There's not as many of them there used to be. And my claim is uh, that 2016 is a huge turning point. If this election, presidential election in the United States, here on Earth, goes to a, a president who denies climate change, then the world's in for a lot of trouble. If, on the other hand, it goes to a president who is concerned about climate change and gets to work on it and applies resources to it, then we could uh, preserve the quality of life for a great many people. So when it comes to deniers, I claim they're a problem. And we have to work that problem. We have to address climate change deniers in the same way we have to build wind turbines. We have to build new, better, better battery systems. We have to work all those problems at once. And deniers are one of the problems.